Hey guys, today may be a little bit longer, okay, but I will do my best to get the words out really fast. Um, for the small group of you, if not um, one person, who is feeling, uh, I think that I feel the weight of this and someone has either cut themselves off, isolated themselves in the house, just is very, very uh, depressed, just has basically, you know, given up and and we've all been in those spots sometimes where it's just we go through these these bouts of depression and the weather changes and we're just trying to work at something and we finally just exhaust ourselves right there's a small group of you or, or someone but I need to touch upon it okay um, the only way out go go get something done get out of the house do even any little thing okay because the message that surrounds this is that the only way out of this is to get your body in motion literally okay doesn't need to be some big grandiose you know jaunt around town just just you know go to the mailbox go outside go check you know go do something the the, the key here is to get physical movement okay because that's going to get you moving here i think too you've got to start um watching for signs or listening to your messages there's there's something coming here okay i'm pretty sure that the rest of this this read belongs to you too but that part was a direct message for someone and i know it's not for the majority of you okay so with that said the only way out is to to get some some air under your wings okay all right um Okay, change is coming around that. I'm sorry, I, I had to lis listen for that. Okay, so there we have that. Now, if we look at this throw, okay, guys, we've got the Knight of Coins. I'm sorry, Knight of Cups coming in. We've got the Ten of Wands crossed by the Five of Wands and the Empress, okay? This is great. I'm going to show you why because there are – I also meditated this morning – it wasn't in lieu of this throw or, or anything like that, but, but I, I meditate every morning and, and every night. Um, and it was funny because it was just I came toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, the eyes of an eagle, right? So I know that sounds crazy, but, but it, it's, it's how it goes sometimes. And, and um, anyhow, they were black and they were just full of... Of things okay so it's funny that the Empress has um, that plaque and I think that that represents for her but it does go to this reading because now it all comes together okay it's that hers represents the Roman Empire but but for our read I know what this means and I know it's relevant too okay um, this is in reference to um, if you are in a relationship okay and it's one that you know is over, this applies to you. If you're in a one-on-one -on -one relationship and you are just at an impasse, but you think it's got staying power, this is for you. If you are in a work situation, this is for you. If you've got a heartbeat, this is for you, okay? Apply this. I can't touch upon it in every single scenario but just know that it applies to you and apply it in your way okay i really feel today this is for a hundred plus percent of us okay so the knight of cups comes in here okay this is again it's this is why i know that applies to this message too of the of, of someone who's really feeling uh you know isolated cut off depressed like you want to lock yourself in the closet action generates happiness joy here okay um, this is coming in as the energy, the Knight of Coin, Knight of Cups. Okay, this is an emotional journey that we're all on. Okay, it's uh, the key here, though, that we're really being reminded to, and this really uh, mirrors the uh, your wingman here of the Empress. Okay, generous natures. Okay, be kind, trusting, uh, confident unguarded okay no hidden motives here that's who you are okay so be that that's what this 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 knight of cups is representing okay it's the energy of being you know what you see is what you get you are a loving caring giving generous no holes barred what you see is what you get kind of person don't change that about yourself don't become jaded here okay um 
there's rewards coming too here. So this could be, again, that's why I know this touches upon all kinds of relationships, okay? Um, the Ten of Wands, okay? It's a time to let go. And that doesn't necessarily need to be people. It, I really have a, a sense that this is old mindsets. This is old patterns. It's the, you know, it's it's the, the old worn out things that we're still carting around. Like, you know, cans tied to the, the, the back of a car. That's what it, it gets to be sometimes, right? Okay. Obsessions. If we are obsessing about anything, okay, and that means, too, we can't get something out of our head, right? It doesn't mean we're... It, 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 you know, it means we can't let something go. We're just, it's, it's, you know, do, 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 do. it's just been on that wheel forever. Okay. Obligations. Make sure that these obligations that you feel that you need to fulfill really need to be fulfilled and that they're really yours. Okay. Yearnings. This is the when is this relationship coming? When is this job coming? When is the, it's the, the yearning though, guys, where that trips us up is that throws the universe into a longing um, energy, right? So it's just going to send us more. It doesn't know what we're longing for. It just knows we're longing. It's aligning with the feeling. So we've got to get a handle on that, okay? I know it's not easy every day. I Trust me, I assure you, I, I know this, okay? But we've got to make conscious efforts. And this is where emotional um, discipline comes in, right? We're, we're doing this. So we're getting it. We're just not perfect. We're people, right? So loyalty too, okay? Um, relationships, I think, are really going to be tested right now. And I think that... The relationships that are showing up, that we're in, that we're leaving, that we're trying to save, that we're, you know, doing whatever with, I think that the lesson, these are lessons. These people are showing up as lessons for us, okay? Um, because relationships are going to be tested now on all fronts, okay? But they end up stronger. And when I say that, I mean the number one relationship, corny as it is, is, is with ourselves, right? So apply this... To, However that is, if these are lessons for yourself, if these are lessons for the relationships that you're in, apply them how they um, they go. But but the key here is, is dependability, okay? The Ten of Wands here really is a card of dependability. You're going the distance, or it's going the distance. It's not always easy, though, right? Life is not always easy, but, but we do it, okay? But do it in a balanced way. Do it without yearning, obligations, obsessions, right? It's... We know the difference between uh, giving up and letting something go, right? Okay, now that's crossed by the five of wands here, okay? Um, you are not the ideas that you cling to. You are not the rules and the regulations and the judgments that you were brought up on, okay? Um, anger comes in here. I feel upset around this, okay? And I really think that this is in relation to old words that have staying power, right? Okay. Even though I really think here that your balance is off, okay, it's most likely, if you're in a relationship that, that you're trying to save, it's most likely going to be restored, okay? You're, you're going to be able to, to get this to a better place, okay? But you've got to take proper measure here, okay? Keep your eye on the prize. Uh, keep your conversations on point. What are you looking at long term? Not the, not the, you know, bip, 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 bip. It's, it's what is long term? What are you, what do you guys see yourself doing long term? What is your common goal? All right, make sure again that these are um, in alignment with where you are now and they're not worn out. Okay, um, that's what I'm going to say with that. Okay, um, also, okay, remember how you look at something is how you see it. So sometimes it's just a tweak in perspective, okay? Um, ask yourself too, okay, I'm, I'm, I know where I'm going here. I just, I, I it, it's a lot came in for this reading. That's why I say it was going to be longer. What in this, what in this scenario, what in this relationship, what in this whatever it is point in time right now, Okay, what is this showing you and how are you going to be wiser on the outbound of this? Okay, because we are, we're, we're always wiser coming out the other end, right? Okay.
you're just being reminded too that you're not stuck here okay this is an emotional a journey okay very very emotional just ask yourself too what does this bring up though too okay close your eyes really and see like that see with your eyes closed here okay your intuition is going to kick in here or a revelation is going to come one of the two okay because we're going to get messages here with this reading okay and give thanks for these experiences but then release them good bad or indifferent don't hang on to it okay because that's when we end up with the rumpus room full of crap that we don't even know what it is anymore give thanks for the good and the not so good because they're all lessons for us the universe is rigged in our favor okay now where the empress comes in here her power she's showing you your power here is in your confidence okay and this is being able to bridge heaven and earth we've realized that this is not our only home okay we're able to, to bridge the two okay this is where the real abundance comes in here okay kind actions too okay these are the seeds we're planting here for our future, right? Nourishing them. We're protecting them, okay? She's also telling you in here, you know, this is a time of abundance. It's coming, okay? In whatever form or way that applies to you, okay? But but she's also reminding you here, too, that, that your strength, just like she very much reminds me of the Queen of Coins, okay? They're very, very strong energies here they're very very confident they know exactly what they're doing because they're divinely connected they know this journey they're not on on their own okay so they don't get thrown off their their path they know that everything is a blessing and they learn from it and they give thanks okay um Most likely, I really think that whatever this scenario is and how it applies to you, I think this is a time, too, of clearing karma, okay? I really think that um, this is, it's really clearing past karma, all right? So it's serving to release that, which is good. We want that, okay? Okay. You're not a powerless child either. I don't know where that's coming from, but, but whoever feels like that, you're not. And I think that this stems from too, you know, words have staying power. I, you know, counsel people and I talk to people and I do reading people from twenties into their eighties and still things that people have said to them in childhood, it stings, it carries weight. No word goes unvoid. Okay. So that's why I think we're really going to need to choose our words here and I'm going to show you a lot of what came up in meditation I'm saving that um, for the end I just needed to get this out first okay um, you're vibrant also and you're wide awake don't ever let anyone tell you you're sleeping you know there's a thing that goes across in the uh, you know the metaphysical world and the spiritual world and the light workers and all of this I don't think really, I really don't think that we need to be casting stones. And again, I'm going off board for a minute because this also throws people into a repetitive loop. Just because someone isn't where you are as far as enlightenment does not mean that they're not awake. That that hurts. That has staying power with people. Okay. I also hear people and 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 counsel people that, that have said, you know, I really thought I was doing well. I was doing the best that I could. And then someone told me that I just wasn't awake enough. That's not true. Everyone gets where they're going, and we remember in our own time. So I'm just putting that out there um, because I don't know why I'm just putting that out there. Um, because I really think that what we're dealing with now is is stuff from the past, okay? And like I said, we're clearing karma here, um, childhood stuff too, when we've really felt powerless, okay? We're not powerless children anymore. We're full-grown adults, okay? We can, we can do and live and have our own beliefs right now okay tune into that because this is an amazing journey of discovery okay and it's yours and only yours no one can take your power away okay all right now what came up in meditation here and it makes total sense okay okay by the grace of God go I I keep hearing that also so um, I think that's something we can all remember right this is a time of illumination too. This reading speaks loudly of illumination. Sacred messages coming. So I know they're coming. I just keep getting that they're going to come when your eyes are closed. Don't ask me what that means, but but we all know we meditate while well, I do with my eyes closed and that's when I see things. So 
that's what it's it's thinking of what where you're guided here okay look at things from a higher perspective and yesterday we got that seven of wands right where you were holding space for yourself that is the high perspective and that's a destiny card okay it's it's keeping uh, realizing that there's a different way to look at things okay and you can change that just by changing how you look at something okay there's a need like I say to take a new view at challenges here in your life okay um, there was something too about a limited vision okay and I think that what happens is when we go so far outside of where we are currently standing to look for an answer we often find that it was looking at us all along okay so there's something about that too that you need to um, look at something different because where you're looking for these answers are not where they are they're they're right where you are so that means something to someone okay um, staring you right in the face was how they how they said it okay so that means to me it was it, it's right in your surroundings your day-to-day -day in your surroundings okay I'm gonna say the home um, which is, it's making you overlook it because it's so obvious. You know when you're looking for your car keys, but yet they've been in your hand all along. It's something like that is what I get the feeling, okay? Um, start thinking from your heart, too, where your spirit lives, your soul, okay? Not your head, because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to bridge heaven and earth for these answers, okay? And that's, that's true enlightenment there, okay? Realizing that there's just not, this is just not all there is, okay? This is really just, we're the puppets in this this big thing here, okay? This big journey of ours. Pay attention to how you're communicating too, okay? This is again where I think we don't realize sometimes in the heat of it all how much staying power. We can really rip someone to shreds with our words. So we really need to be a little bit more careful with that, which is I think why I was going with make sure that if you're trying to uh, get something back on track in in general altogether but I think that that what that really means is stay on point don't don't you know revert back to things that were said or done or this or that where are you going from here is that worth this or do you need to release it okay um, basically yeah because what what we've say communication wise really you know even in how we look we roll our eyes we this we that they, they they show people really what they they mean to us if we don't you know if we're trying to think like I say of the answer before the person even has it out of their mouth they know you we've all been on that receiving end right where we know that no matter what we're saying we're standing here pouring our heart out and the person is just not even just not even in there right that's something you need to pay attention to here because in this is your lesson too okay um, also, ask yourself who has said something to you, again, in childhood that maybe has stunted um, your growth or basically crippled you, so to speak, okay? We need to figure out what that is and let that go, okay? We need to also release that person as far as in, you know, they probably didn't really think about it doesn't really matter whether they said it with intent or not we need to release it because we're the ones still carrying it around chances are they don't even remember what they said okay um, also if you see things really like seeing with your eyes closed that's your intuition you hear words something don't pass that off as insignificant they're not. These are not insignificant. These are your messages. These are your visions. These are these are your your sign points. Okay, to guide you where you need to go. Um, people show you who they are. Okay, they really do. Trust that. Don't think you can change them. Don't stay with someone or try to work on something for what you think they can be. What are they showing you right now? Okay, because that's showing you in yourself right now what you're valuing in yourself. Okay, more so than than anything else um, limited views too okay that's why I think it's it's uh, move out of your comfort zone and that's in your thoughts too okay um, your spirit honestly your intuition your the unseen where we have faith blind faith right that is as solid as the ground you're standing on 
that was a direct message for you even though you can't see it that's why I think this theme is to really close your eyes and see that way because it's as solid to you um, as the ground that you're standing on okay it's a reminder too to get out and about take alone time okay connect with with your guides master patience too that was another one um, we have to really master patience and and again I think that that's where we're uh, the longing the obligation the yearning right we've got to learn to be patient and be okay with that because that's where we're kind of tying ourselves up here okay everything is possible with patience okay there's something too about showing up in everyday life right um, you are the gift there's there was a message here that that your gift is needed every day and that you are your gift so again I know this is tied to the to the people that are are, are are have just given up and just are really really depressed okay you can be like the walking dead we can we can get in those times sometimes and with this energy it's tiring it's exhausting on a good day we're tired and exhausted but throw this energy into the mix and it's it's really really it, it's again like having weights tied to your ankles okay but you are the gift you're being reminded of that and that's what the Empress is, is telling you here okay she knows you know how to dance between the veils here do it okay be your kind loving self coming in this is an emotional journey okay now the ten of wands and the five of, of, of wands here these are just telling you that that you know we need to release the things that are burdening us and free up space for the things that are coming okay the five of wands too also speaks of it's that inner conflict with ourself but how it's showing up today is it's telling you that that you know you are not the things you hang on to you are not these thoughts that you wrestle with in your mind you're not release them release them and set them free give give your space room for for new thoughts right okay I hope that I helped you in some way I do apologize that this was a little longer but I had a lot to say today okay these were a lot of messages for you and I couldn't I'm glad that you get to see the ten of wands and the five of wands in a different light okay because it gets to be a bit much sometimes when you hear just the ten of wands is 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 uh, you know it's a burden or the five of wands is conflict but you know what these these are these are conflicts that we don't need to own anymore that very rarely gets talked about we can release these these aren't ours we're not our thoughts okay and the ten of wands you know it's just it's a time to let go it's a time to do something in a different in a different way that's all tens are endings and beginnings they're you know infinity there is no stop and start it just goes right so be kind to yourself uh, be the, the loving, caring person that you are. Show up as the gift that you are every day. Be authentic to yourself. Step out of your comfort zones here. And you've got all of this. You've got abundance coming your way. Okay? In whatever form you've been looking for it, it's coming your way. That's what the sun card that we've got the last couple of days is saying. It's illumination. You're, you're, you're going to be toe-to-toe, -to -toe, just like I was today. You're going to be toe-to-toe -to -toe with all the manifestations that you're you're going for right now okay just release the old stuff we don't need it. it it's holding us back okay so I think this is great this was a wonderful reading it really was okay it's just showing us that we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there be patient okay thank you so much I hope I helped you in some way